Well, even on the day of the Super Bowl, the liberals just couldn't resist. So they went out in front of the stadium and they started protesting. Um, what did they start protesting? Maybe, uh, you know, maybe the NFL, you know, maybe some of the stuff that they say. You know, maybe Lady Gaga, you know, she like worships Satan and stuff like that. But no, guess what they're worshiping? Donald Trump again on the day of the Super Bowl. Like they, they didn't even want to go watch it. They just wanted to stand outside and scream. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the guys the footage right now. Um, liberal tears mugs in my description. Happy to be back. I'll explain where I was in a future video. Uh, but for now, check out the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Why do you Why do you not like Trump? Why do you think he's a fascist? I don't think that Trump is a fascist as of yet. He's very fascist adjacent, proto fascist, but there are fascists lurking in the shadows in his administration and also a large number of his supporters as well. And that's where the real threat lies. So you're not really c completely against Trump. It's just you, you fear that um, some of his followers might be fascist. I'm completely against Trump. The only thing that I would might agree with Trump on was no TPV. That's about it. A broken clock is right twice a day, as they say. That would be the one thing that I agree with Trump on. Do you agree with gun rights and protecting the Second Amendment? Absolutely. Well, you know, Trump agrees with that, too. Like I said, twice a day, right? All right, thank you very much. Let's go see the next one. Ma'am, why does Donald Trump have to go? Because he's a misogynist, he's a racist. He is against um, allowing good-hearted, wonderful people into our country. I believe he is a sociopath. He's narcissistic. I believe he has severe mental health problems. He is absolutely not fit to be the president of the United States. Did you vote for Hillary Clinton? I did not. Did you vote for Bernie? I did not. Did you even vote? I did. I wrote in a vote because I do not believe that the Republicans nor the Democrats are the answer to the problems for the 99% in this country. We need a party of our people, of the 99%, and we need to take some of the wealth that the billionaires... So are you a communist? Do you believe in communism? I believe in socialism, yes. So you think that, you know, the majority should be able to just leech off of the earnings of others? Clearly, you are not educated in what socialism is because that's not what it means at all. It means Isn't it a tax? You know, in socialist countries, they tax the income of people a lot. I mean, they have very high taxes, and that money goes to the government, and then that goes back to people and, you know, paying for health care and other things like that. But it doesn't always necessarily mean that it's the right answer and you know the people who are working hard should they be getting that chunk of their money taken out so somebody else can decide what to do with it they're having a chunk of money taken out but they're benefiting because they have affordable housing they have health care for their families and themselves how many people have you talked to from other countries that are socialists I don't know people in other countries, and there really are no good socialist governments right now. I mean, Cuba is probably the best example I could think of. They'd be doing much. You know that in socialist countries, they don't have constitutions. They don't have bills of rights like we do. We have more protections that are afforded to us. So you're willing to just kind of scrap that and, you know, go for socialism? I'm not saying that at all. A socialist government... There would be a, a constitution, there would be a legislature, there would be a parliament, and our representatives would be held accountable by the rest of us, not like it is now. Now it's held accountable to big money and right. corporations, right? All right, well, thank you very much, ma'am. So what brings you out here today? We are here because we want to uh, say, you know, just uh, tear apart the families. To women policies is... Um, I mean, he's he, he's he's blacked out the USDA has blacked out their animal welfare program. We, 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 the coal miners can now throw their sludge in what, the street. What anti-woman's policies are you talking about? Oh, what anti-woman policies? Um, his whole his.
his 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 hateful way toward women and toward uh, toward I've got to stay with my group. So you don't actually know of any. All right. So she ran away when I asked her about what policies exactly she was referencing when she said that Trump had anti-woman policies. All right. Let's go talk to somebody else. Jesus said. If you continue in my words, then you are my disciples indeed, in the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if Christ saves you, he saves you to We got some police on horses up here. Please is on horses. We're being called fake news by the Bible preachers right now. All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and talk to some more of these protesters out here today and see what brings them out here. Let's talk to this girl right here. Oh, you want to t talk? What brings you out here today? Are you protesting? Uh, no, we're actually just taking part in the festivities. But I do feel the, the point of those people, what they're trying to make, though, you know, which is uh, protect, the, protect our country, you know, protect the water, protect the natural resources, right? What do you think about the fact that a large amount of sex slave trafficking happens during the Super Bowl? Is that concerning at all? Do you think we should be protecting those women and children? Hey, you want to you wanna say something? No? I definitely think so. I got a wife and three daughters. Yeah, I definitely think we should protect those women. Do you think that some of the NFL players should be speaking out on this? Uh, they should. They should. They got that kind of platform to make a statement. They should. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and talk to some of these people here. Okay. Looks like this protest is kind of migrating. What brings you out here today? I'm a water protector. You're, pro you're protecting the water rights? All right, so you're out here uh, protesting the Dakota Pipeline? Yeah. Who are you with? We're with Infowars.com. Okay, well, Infowars.com, do you spend any time up in North Dakota? Not me personally. No, I, I don't spend much time at all. I don't think I've even been up there. But InfoWars has. Okay, well, I was up there for two months. I was arrested up there. I'm still awaiting trial up there. But now I'm down here, and this is where I'm fighting. All right. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank much. you. All right. Hi. What brings you out here today? I see you got a Get Trump Out sign. That's exactly why I'm out here. Um, I don't know what else to say. What do you think is going to result by you coming out here during the Super Bowl? Oh, I think that most of the protests in Houston have been like when no one's around. And here, like today, the United States, everyone is looking at Houston. Everyone wants to know what Houston thinks. So I think we need to be here to show that we care about this country and the world. So what's so bad about Donald Trump? Um, he has a lot of awful right-wing agendas. Uh, the next thing he's going to do is try to deport one million people from this country. Well, um, if the people here came here illegally in the first place, do you really think that there's something wrong with uh, deporting them when they came in illegally and they're not really, you know, getting in line and trying to do proper immigration and, and pay taxes and, and go above the board? But here's the thing, a lot of people have gotten in line. A lot of people are paying taxes even though they're not required to. People pay into the social security system illegally every year. A lot of people came over as children. They didn't have a choice. So what about the people that, you know, did have a choice and, and came over here, the majority of the people that came over here, and they're, um, they're working under the table, which then competes with people who are trying to work above the table. I mean, we have all these businesses that are hiring illegals because they know that they can pay them below minimum wage. And then our people, our Americans, they're out of work. They can't get a job. They can't compete. Well, I wouldn't blame the, the immigrants. I would be blaming the business people who are hiring people illegally. Those are the people that should be gone after. Immigrants are being exploited. So you think, yes, the immigrants are, in a sense, being exploited. But, you know, why should we bring them here to exploit them? 
We're not bringing them here. Economic wars are bringing them here. Wars are bringing them here. People come as refugees from violence all over the world. That's why they're here. Wouldn't we be bringing them here if we're leaving our door open and kind of, in a sense, inviting them here by not deporting them if they come? I think we should leave our door open. Houston, like, is what, the third um, city in the country re for resettling refugees. Like, it's a big deal. Like, we should be helping. Our country does terrible stuff overseas. We start wars. We kill people. The least we can do is to provide a safe haven for people. All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. Appreciate it. All right. And he's got a uh, ban in de denounce Davos. What's your sign mean? <laughs> What's your sign mean? I'm not sure. Someone handed this to me, so it's great. All right, it so, fits. okay, so he doesn't know what his sign means. All right. Uh, sir, what brings you out here today in the mask? All right, he's in a mask. Let's see this person over here. What brings you out here today? I'm not talking to you. Fuck you. Why? Why? Why won't you talk to me? What's wrong? All right. She doesn't want to talk to me. Let's go over here. All right, let's go see who else we can talk to. You know, there's not really much point in protesting if you're not going to talk. Well, uh, now he's been attacking for a long time. When he started the campaign, he's been attacking all the immigrants, the Mexican community, now the Muslims. And we believe that he is talking, attacking, attacking all the time. We need to have some respect. And we're asking for respect. We're asking to stop uh, doing the effective orders for all the immigrants. That's why. So um, are you talking about regards to the, the illegal immigrants that, you know, came here illegally that he was saying that should be deported? Well, I'm talking about the, the all the immigrants that they've been, the hard workers, that they're not criminals. I'm talking about the ones that are not criminals. I'm talking about the ones being the work hard, the contributor to this country, the ones that, that they, they be, they're okay with this country. I'm, that's what I'm talking about, because whenever the deportation starts on all the race, they start the immigration uh, officers, they start getting the race. There are some people that are good people, they're not criminals. So sometimes we are, we are around, the criminals are around, and sometimes they get everyone at one time, and they go deported. Even if you don't have no papers, or no, they're undocumented, they're not criminal, they put it in jail. Well, did you know if, you know, if, if anyone in America decided they were just going to try and illegally immigrate to Canada, they wouldn't even make it past the border security. And even if they did, they would be deported like pretty quickly. We, they wouldn't have the option of staying here and working under the table and, and you know, having children here and, you know, doing that immigration through illegal means. So, you know, you have to take into account the fact that they did come here illegally and then the the perspective of the American people here that you know were here illegally or the people who immigrated here legally they did the process where they filled out the paperwork you know they learned about the Constitution they learned about what rights they were gonna have so if we have all these people coming here and they don't know their rights they don't know the Constitution you know Th then it creates a little bit of a problem. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Basically, there's a lot of people don't know about the Constitution, the 13th Amendment, and all uh, all the Constitution, and people confuse. You're right. But the thing is, we're trying to educate the people that they need to know that the Constitution is saying that everyone is welcome to the United States. For a long, long time ago, the Constitution of the United States uh, saying that everyone is welcome here means means even if you can't cross the, 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 uh, the border legally or illegally, some in the future, they, they will, the paper will work. And a long time ago, they get the, the yeah, paper well, right. Well, here's something interesting. You know, Donald Trump never said he was against immigration. He said he was against illegal immigration. And the people that were here illegally, they needed to be deported because they were here illegally. But he didn't say anything against preventing re-entry through legal means. So if people then were allowed to re-enter legally through following the right process, then they wouldn't be being um, taken advantage of by being, you know, given these 
really bad below minimum wage jobs. Uh, I know it's good for them in their mind compared to what they're getting in their country, but it's undercutting them as far as what they could get as an American citizen, and then the American citizens miss out on jobs. What do you think about that? Well, I think uh, you're right. I mean, I mean, they, they have to come legally from our country. He's right. But the problem we have right now, to be honest, we have 11 million undocumented that maybe from those 11 million documents, there are no criminal, there are no criminal records. Means, what, what are we going to do for them? What are we going to do? For those people that have been living here for 20 or 30 years ago and they have USA children born here, what are we going to do for them? Are we going to give an, an opportunity or not? The, the, the ones that the, the, are not criminals, that's, that's, that's the, the problem. All right. Well, thank you very much, sir. Thanks thank for you. voicing your opinion and everything thank like you. that. All right. Let's go talk to some other protesters out here. All right. Uh, so what brings you out here today? Can you hold on just one second? Sure, yeah, go ahead. What brings you out here today, ma'am? Injustice for people all over the world. And may God bless uh, this America and Houston, Texas. What do you think about the fact that, you know, human sex slave trafficking goes on during the football and actually large amounts of women and young children are sex trafficked during the, during the Super Bowl? Well, that's one reason why we are here, uh, to stand in the gap uh, for all the other things that are going on in the world and uh, the people that couldn't make it, we are speaking on their behalf. And what's your sign mean? Oh, my sign means it's Black History Month for me. Okay. <laughs> and we, like it says, we are women, hear us raw. We're not going back. This is not 1800 Donald Trump. This is 2017. What would you like to see Donald Trump do for the African American community since it's Black History Month? He can give us a big donation. <laughs> no, seriously, he can. But what do you what exactly do you think that he can do aside from just, you know, money because money always doesn't fix everything because, you know, money can be spent and it can be gone just like that. So, what should he do to fix you know, and, and improve the African-American community. Well, I'm saying that because with that money, we can build on other things and towards the future for our children. That's why, and educate them. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. If he could, he could recognize that black people matter, that would be the first and foremost thing. What did you say, ma'am? I said he could, he could recognize that black people matter, as well as Latinos and Hispanics and women and uh, the disabled and lots of other people. How is he not recognized that they matter? Well, he's passing laws that, that affect all of us. And I, I resent his intrusion into, in, into our lives. He is not working towards our best interest as citizens. That's his job. He's not but you say job. our interest in, in that he's doing all this, but at the same time, you have to remember that the majority of America voted him in to do these policies. No, I know you're going to say about, you know, the, the majority voted for Hillary, but in fact, that was a lot of illegals voting. So, yes, it was. They've, they've counted it. They've done the numbers. I won't dignify that, that statement with a response. So when you're saying he's doing this, he's doing that, you have to take into account that a lot of Americans are the ones who he's doing it for. They're the ones doing it. So if you, anything, you should complain that your fellow Americans are, you know, believing in these policies and telling him to do these things. No, if it weren't so. vote by three million votes. No, those that were illegal votes. 40. No, that's not. Oh, look, all three million are illegal? Um, yeah, it might even be more. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, let's, let's play into that, that theory because it's just so not true. You must be one of those alternate facts folks. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Like the Bowling Green Massacre. Let's, let's take up a, a, a collection for those, those folks, the Bowling Green massacre. So you're going to completely discount the fact that a, major, a large proportion of Americans did vote for him and they believe in these policies. When you quote bad science, you have lost all credibility. Okay, whatever. You're the one who said it was him doing it alone. And all I'm trying to point out is the fact that it is not just him. There's a lot of Americans that believe in this. He's supposed to be making policies that benefit all Americans and he's not doing it. Just the rich white folks.
as of yet. He's very fascist adjacent, proto-fascist, but there are fascists lurking in the shadows in his administration and also a large number of his supporters as well. And that's where the real threat lies. So you're not really co completely against Trump. It's just you, you fear that um, some of his followers might be fascist. I'm completely against Trump. The only thing that I would might agree with Trump on was no TPP. That's about it. A broken clock is right twice a day, as they say. That would be the one thing that I agree with Trump on. Do you agree with gun rights and protecting the Second Amendment? Absolutely. Well, you know, Trump agrees with that, too. Like I said, twice a day, right? All right, thank you very much. Let's go see the next one. Well, even on the day of the Super Bowl, the liberals just couldn't resist. So they went out in front of the stadium and they started protesting. Um, when did they start protesting? Maybe, uh, you know, maybe the NFL, you know, maybe some of the stuff that they say. You know, maybe Lady Gaga, you know, she like worships Satan and stuff like that. But no, guess what they're worshiping? Donald Trump again on the day of the Super Bowl. Like they, they didn't even want to go watch it. They just wanted to stand outside and scream. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the guys the footage right now. Um, liberal tears mugs in my description happy to be back I'll explain where I was in a future video uh, but for now check out the video thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later why do you why do you not like Trump why do you think he's a fascist I don't think that Trump is a fascist and why does Donald Trump have to go because he's a misogynist, he's a racist, he is against um, allowing good-hearted, wonderful people into our country. I believe he is a sociopath, he's narcissistic, I believe he has severe mental health problems, he is absolutely not fit to be the President of the United States. Did you vote for him?